WTAJ Sports with Jack Washer. All right, welcome back to Pagula Ice Arena. It was a bit unusual for a September 16th night here at Penn State. We had NHL hockey, the Penguins and the Sabres. Now, it was a Sabres home game because, well, the Pagulas, they own the Sabres and, well, they helped fund Pagula Ice Arena. But if you were here tonight, it felt like a Penn's home game. So let's get right to the action. Hollidaysburg native Sam Lafferty making a return to Central PA. He scored a goal tonight. He had a little camera malfunction, so unable to show that, but we'll get to the other goals. Penguins strike first. Andrew Agazino lights the lamp, putting the pens up 1 0. Later, it's John Gilmore for Buffalo flying down the left wing, snipes one home to tie the game up at one apiece. Connor Sherry, the former pen, streaks down with just over a minute to go. He makes it 2 1 Sabres. Now, the pens would trail 4 1. Get the 4 3, then Ryan Haggerty with an absolute snipe to tie the game up at four apiece. This game would go to overtime. Penn didn't really big a lot, bring a lot of their big guns, but the Sabres did, and the captain, Jack Eichel, ends it with just less than a minute to go in overtime. That would be the winner. The Sabres win it 5 4. Lafferty, like I said, got that goal and got the attention of his head coach, Mike Sullivan. Well, that's great. You know, we're, we're thrilled for him. You know, it's, uh, it's always a thrill to score in front of. Uh, family and friends, and, and uh, you know, we got a big goal tonight. I'm sure that that'll be a big boost of confidence for him. He is for sure a candidate. He's in the conversation right now for this roster, and, uh, and we'll continue to watch throughout the course of this exhibition season. But, you know, his body of work in Wilkesbury is, has been really strong, and, uh, and that's certainly something that, you know, that we've taken into consideration as well. He's earned the opportunity uh, to play in these exhibition games, and, and we'll watch him moving forward. All right, moving on to the other, well, one of the other teams in Pittsburgh, the, the Steelers, and some bad news for Steelers fans as Mike Tomlin announced this morning that quarterback Ben Roethlisberger will miss the remainder of the 2019 season as he has to have surgery on his le or right elbow. Uh, Roethlisberger exited the game yesterday and did not return. Now, there has been no further details on the injury, but the thought is that it is the ulnar collateral ligament Essentially, if you think of it like in baseball terms, it's the ligament that pitchers have to get, you know, when they have Tommy John surgery. So Roethlisberger shut down for the 2019 season. Mason Rudolph will be the quarterback going forward, filled in nicely as the Steelers, though, did fall to 0-2. And, and you have to think about it right now that the Steelers have $47 million in cap space in sort of, you know, you want to call it dead cap right now with Roethlisberger on the IR and Antonio Brown. He's counting $21 million against the cap, and he doesn't even play for the Steelers. So it goes from bad to worse as the Steelers fall to 0-2 and try to get back on track against San Francisco on Sunday. And also some late-breaking news. The Steelers have traded a first-round pick in next year's draft to the Miami Dolphins for defensive back Minka Fitzpatrick, the second-year DB out of Alabama. The Dolphins are trying to lose right now. Fitzpatrick wanted out. The Steelers need help on the back end, and, well, Fitzpatrick is going to try to provide that for them. Like I said, Steelers and 49ers Sunday right here on WTAJ starting at 425. That's going to do it from Pagula Ice Arena. Once again, the final score, Sabres 5, Penguins 4. John and Joe wrap it up right after this.